I'm better. You know, things are, are going well. I hope to be back in one month. Um, you know, it's hard to still be watching from the sideline, but um, it's a lot easier right now than it was before. I think because last time uh, it was during the playoffs. So it's okay now. <laughs> Um, my summer wasn't really a summer, a typical summer. I spent most of, well, all of my time rehabbing. Um, although I did go to London for one week to watch the Olympics. Um, got to see the French team and, and their amazing run. So um, that was about as adventurous as my summer got. Other than that, I was on a very strict reg regiment, just uh, working out and, and trying to get my ankle healthy. Oh, absolutely. I was, I knew that they were going to do well. I, I wasn't sure if they would actually get the silver medal because um, I thought Australia was, was going to, was probably going to do it. But, um, you know, when, when they had that first tough game against, um, I think the first overtime was against Australia, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I saw that game, I was like, you know, I think they're, they're definitely going to get it. So um, I'm extremely happy for them and, and wish them all the best. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, They'll win it um, next summer here in France for, for everyone. I, you know, <laughs> I was jealous, actually. <laughs> um, but um, I'm, I'm extremely happy for her. You know, she's so deserving of this silver medal and uh, as well as everybody else on the team. But for someone like Adige, who has so much experience, has played almost everywhere in the world, and for her to, towards the end of her career, to go out like this and, um, and get that medal, it's, I'm, I'm so happy for her. I actually haven't as much as normally, I mean, as, as normally as I do, but, um, I'm going to probably bet that Minnesota is probably going to win again. Um, they've had a, from what I hear, they've had a pretty solid season. Um, and that's, you know, that's my old team, so I don't mind if they win. <laughs> There's something inside you. To go back? Uh, I don't know. I, th I thought about it. You know, I actually had hopes to go back um, this summer before I got hurt. Um, now I don't know because, I, you know, I really kind of enjoy having my summers off and being with my family and friends, um, especially now as I get older. So I don't know. We'll see. But my focus right now is to just to get back here with Montpellier and, and, uh, and get back on the court as soon as possible. It's hard to explain. A hundred percent, like back to my normal self, honestly, um, probably in the second half of the season, <laughs> you know, coming off of a major injury, whether it's what I did or a knee injury, it takes a lot of time, even though you're back on the court, it still takes you a lot of time to get back in your rhythm and stuff, so I don't really anticipate myself playing the way that I used to play probably until January. I'm not saying that I won't, I'll be back before then, but um, I think it's going to take some time for me to, to get my groove back. Very disappointed, I, as well as the rest of our team. Um, you know, we had a, a good run last year, and I think a lot of us were hoping that we could potentially get qualified to go to the, the, to the final eight. Um, so it's disappointing that, that we had to pull out of it. Um, hopefully, we will do our best in Euro Cup and, and try to win it if we can. Um, and then hopefully, next year, you know, if I'm still with this team, maybe we can participate in early no actually they didn't um, <laughs> uh, at least as far as I maybe they did for the girls here but for me you know being a, back at home I, I mean I heard about it on the internet um, so I have no idea if the French girls knew beforehand I have no idea um, a lot of speed um, if she stays healthy, you know, she's she's very athletic, um, has a great offensive mindset, and uh, I think she's going to be great for our team. Um, and, you know, last year we were really deep in the post, and now I think we have a lot of guards. So um, I would anticipate that once everyone is healthy and back, we'll be running up and down the court quite a bit. Always the goal for our team is to win the championship, but you know, um, 
gorgeous gorge and, and having seen them play last night I was really impressed with them I thought that you know even without two of their players well three Costello is, is still injured missing those three players you know it, they're still really tough so it's gonna be an interesting season um, I actually told her I couldn't wait to see her in her cute little spandex <laughs> Um, but she looks good. I think I think Steph fits in really well with her system, and I think um, uh, Deandra and Sandra. I wish all three of them the best, and I, I still wish that we were the same team as last year. But you know, it is what it is. It's a business, and um, I think they'll they'll fit in great with their new teams. Just good health, please. I just want to get through a healthy season. Um, you know, the last two years here, I've had some injuries. Um, so I just want to have a, a healthy year and, and be grateful that to, to play. But you're still the same. Oh, haha, -ha, I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, soon, I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. Inside you, it's hard to explain.